Good morning. I'm Chris. And I'm Janine. Welcome to the Blue Fiber Tree. Yeah, it is already February 12th. It's a Super Bowl Sunday. Go Jalen Hurts. Sorry. <laughs> He's a Sooner. And roll tide for him, but I didn't really say that because my mother will kill me because he's from both schools, but I hope the Eagles win. Oh, so she's going that direction. Yeah, because he's a Sooner. And he's a quarterback. Okay, wait a minute. The other team has Sooners too, but I like... I was going like, to say... There's Sooners on both sides this time. Okay. But I'm, I'm, I really want Jalen Hurts to win. So they're playing Kansas City, right? Patrick Mahomes should not face so i'm the mahomey team and she's the other team <laughs> we'll see who's wearing what jersey next time we come back i love you just something about him patrick mahomes yeah really? it's his name look it's the mahomey i don't like him i don't know he's cocky and not like cocky like baker mayfield cocky because that's a different kind of cocky but you know all right we're not here to talk about football we're here to talk about all things fiber. Yeah, because after football, once baseball starts, we'll be talking about baseball. No, we won't, because I don't... She doesn't Sorry, follow Grandma, baseball. don't really follow baseball anymore. <laughs> don't be mad. All right, so, yeah, so, you know what? Hey, everybody, and not just guys, don't forget, Valentine's Day is on the 14th, which is Tuesday this year. So, if you would like to stay married, don't go out to dinner on the 14th. Because if you didn't make a reservation, like a smart person, you will have a two and a half hour wait at any restaurant you go to. Then your wife is going to kill you or your girlfriend or your significant other, however you want to call it. So um, either make your reservations now or go, hey, honey, wouldn't you rather go out the weekend after so we don't have to deal with all those people? No. Cook a romantic like dinner at home and just oh. be the two of you. Ooh. Oh, come on. She's I work on Valentine's Day. So do I. Or both of work till 8 o'clock. We don't get to have Valentine's Day. Sure we do. Oh, he'll send you something. He always does. <laughs> you should call Craig. Tell him to <laughs> step his game up. No, he leaves me treats every year. Like, he hides, like, Valentine's Day cards in every flipping cabinet at the salon. So all day long, I'm opening. I'll go, oh, I need developer. Another little fun. Some are funny, some are romantic, some are just stupid. Okay, yeah. but he thinks about it. Oh, you. he does. Because he had to plan that ahead of time. He does. Usually at um, 5 o'clock in the morning when he goes, Oh, it's Valentine's Day! <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. He makes me coffee in the morning, so we're oh, good. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right, so you have been warned. It is Valentine's Day. You got scheduled? Day. I do have scheduled. Okay. Okay, so Wednesday the 15th, I am going to be doing a three-hour session to show anyone who has purchased one of these needle felting tapestry kits, because yeah. that's what she calls them. I'm going to be doing a workshop. So awesome. your materials are a kit. Yeah, perfect. And, and then I'm going to show you how to do it. I so think that's, that's going to be fun. Five to eight. So again, this is the gnome, and I show you the gnome because you get all of this, okay? You will not need any extra fiber unless you're a tingle this. gum. I and still think I made my black lines too big, but maybe. No, it doesn't really matter. Huh. Okay. It's abstract anyway, so. I like it. But it's fun, and eventually this is gonna end up in a frame. I will get there sooner or later. Um, but if she ever stops showing it off to everybody, that's right. So, there, well, I had fun with that and I'm you proud did. of it because it came out really cool. It did. Um, very similar to the picture. You have a little leeway with um, some of your lines and your little, you know, you can change those flowers a little bit, whatever you want to do. Um, it is, the pattern is pre printed on the felt. Yep. It's a marker. She uses a Sharpie marker to give you your outline. But you can do whatever you want. You can okay. you can change it to if you want to do a different flower or you want to add an extra line or some more colors. You want to do some shading. You can do that on here. So I added some okay. extra lines on the robe of the gnome that aren't in the picture. They were actually on the drawing, but they weren't in the picture. Ah. So she changes things a little bit too. Okay. So which is really cool. So we're well, it gives you artistic license. Exactly. I like that. Exactly. 
Um, so we're going to be doing that on the 15th from okay. 5 to 8. So just make sure you call and sign up for that. Yes. On the 16th from 5 to 8 is beginner spinning with this second session being March 2nd. Yes. Sorry, I'm excited. Well, yeah. So we just came like, off of a month of seven new spinners. I had two, two beginner spinning sessions. So I had two two-week sessions. Correct. I had seven new spinners. Mm-hmm. One of which will never spin again because she was my, she's just one of my besties. Mm -hmm. Known her for 22 years. She's a pain in my dupa. And she did it to support she you. She did. She's like, I'm going to give you my money <laughs> so you can drive me crazy. I don't like how this feels. There's something about it. She just, Spins. but she knits, she crochets. But I think the biggest part is because it's not fun for her because she can't use wool. She's allergic to wool. Right. So she has to use a superwash. Right product or acrylic and I didn't think to bring acrylic in for right. her but I think she would have lost her mind with that right but um so yeah we have the beginner spin and I'm super excited um the everybody that came out like we just had good flow in both sessions mm -hmm. I really feel like everybody minus Laura and Laura was successful to a certain degree mm -hmm. her yarn is just like this fat it still has twist it's still usable. We just don't know what she's going to use it in yet. But um, by the end of our second session, I think that I feel like everybody that was there really felt comfortable. Mm -hmm. They have a very good understanding of drafting. They understand the ply, like a regular ply, why you do things, why you don't do things. Um, and it was really nice to see. Yeah. You know, we, we had the one, <clears throat> one student she really struggled with drafting. So I actually gave her some of my fun singles. I said, no, no, come do the plying class. I said, then you and I will get together after mm -hmm. and we'll work on your drafting. So she did the plying and she's like, oh, I love this. This is, I love it. I go, oh. She loved plying, but after the ply class, cause it was an earlier in the day class, right. she stayed, got back on the wheel with her fiber from the sessions. And it was like magic. She could it was spin. like because she plied, she could now spin. So, oh my God, <coughs> January brought so much joy. Like I had so much fun. Right. And then we ended it with our one day spin in. So we all got to be around all of our spinners. And now we get to start again with more new yeah. spinners. And so two of the new spinners actually joined us for that <clears throat> one day spin session. That's so nice. Which was great because they had just spun Friday night and they're like, I'm like, just leave your wheel. If you're coming back tomorrow, just leave it. Don't take it home and bring it back. That's just great. leave it. So they left their wheels, came back 9 o'clock Saturday morning, yep. and then they spun. They were here until 5 o'clock. I think Justine was here till the end, wasn't she? Yeah, Justine was Hannah here until the end. Hannah left just, just a tiny bit before yeah. that. Um, but it was so nice to see because I – so I did participate. When I, learned to, when I learned spinning, I learned in June – Mm -hmm. And I did participate in the spinning weekend at the end of July that year, but I really like couldn't do a whole lot because right. I just it took me a little bit longer to. These two like dove in like Lexi and Alex. Now they're spinning fine yarns. It took me six years to learn how to do. But so you have proud to of them. Also though. understand they had wheels. Like Hannah ended up with a joy. They have wheels um, made for that. Justine has a traditional, an older traditional that she was using. So they're meant to spin thinner yarns. So Right. No, no, I get that. Mm -hmm. I just and we'll 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 spin envy there because they just <laughs> got it so so, so quickly easy. But, but I'm proud of them. It's okay. Look, you're you're teaching. You struggled in the beginning and now you're teaching. I know. I love it. I can't imagine not doing it. I, I just and if, if you have ever ever if you knit, if you crochet, if you weave there is absolutely nothing in this world like taking raw fiber, be it from a bat or roving, and turning it into your own yarn and then weaving with it or knitting with it. Yep. The, the, the feeling when I made my Ricky the Sheep hat and when I made that vest out of the thick and thins, yep. I was like, huh. No commercial place made that. Like, that's my yarn. Yeah, I still have 
So from the first few sessions of me spinning, I actually have a hat that I knit for myself. Okay. I knit a hat for you out of the alpaca. Oh, is that the fiber? Blue? Yeah. Okay. Um, and I've taken a lot of those because you get short pieces. Yeah. When you're learning new techniques, <laughs> you don't get enough no. to do anything with. No. I've taken a lot of that and I've put it into weaving. Yeah. Um, and it's specific weavings for like family members and things like that I have dove into and done that. Mm -hmm. I haven't put it into anything that I'm selling yet. It's right. just, you know, it's it means something that's special. I spun it, you're gonna get some of my stuff. Yeah. Um, there's that kind of thing. And you, I mean, you get a sense of accomplishment just when you knit. Yeah. Cause here, you knitted the sweater you're mm -hmm. wearing. And that's a good sense of accomplishment. They're like, huh, I made a sweater. I don't know that feeling yet because I have yet to finish the four sweaters <laughs> I have started. We'll get there. Um, I'm really good at hats and cowls, let me tell you. I can do that all day long. Right. That's my attention span. Um, but like creating your own yarn versus using something commercially, like it, A, you're taking away all that built up stress that's in your body while you're spinning and it's leaving you. You I can't focus on anything else when you're spinning. Yeah, and I don't know how many of the new spinners, when they were doing the sessions, they went, oh, I get it now. I understand yeah. what they mean yeah. when, when you see the videos and things of people. Because you get quiet after a while, and you're just sitting there, and you're just doing it, and your mind just, it just goes you to loosen. a place. Everything loosens, and it just woosahs yeah. away. Yeah, and they made those comments, oh. I get, I get it. it. I get it's, it. And it was the greatest feeling. Mm -hmm. Verena, after the ply class, when she went to spin, I was over here. We were <laughs> scanning yarn for days. And I leaned back and I looked over at her and I go, hey, you're awful quiet over there. Are you okay? And she goes, yeah. <laughs> and she was just like, <laughs> it's like a drug. In a zone. <laughs> yeah. She was like, I totally get where I can like just listen to my iPod, my 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 little show on my thing, yeah, yeah, and and just go. I want that for people, like exactly. I want to share that. It's you know when you find joy in something, you want other people to grab that joy and learn it. If you ever want to spin, come. So the the beauty of learning how to spin here is, you pay for the instruction, and your materials. Yep. And you get six hours of instruction, two, three hour sessions, two weeks apart. You use our spinning wheels. We do not want anybody to come with the, the misconception that they need to buy any piece of equipment ahead of time. That's hundreds and sometimes thousands of dollars. You need to make sure you like what you're doing before you invest in that. You also need to make sure that you're getting the correct wheel that works for oh. you. Yeah, they're all they, different. They, they all have their own very unique personalities. Mm -hmm. And while a joy may be wonderful for me for fine spinning, somebody else may be like, I don't like this. Yeah, I Like, Verena loves my kiwi. Right, right. She sat at my joy and was like, ugh. I had several do that. Yeah, it just, mm -hmm. it's why I wanted to bring it in because some people might, it might strike a chord, some people might need the kiwi. You just don't know. And this is why we have the variety mm -hmm. of spinning wheels here from Ashford so that you can try each different one and see which one is gonna work for you. And we are going to ask specific questions as yeah. to what's your end goal for yeah. spinning. Yeah. And just, sometimes you might not know. I'm gonna be honest, know. you might not know. I had Hannah pegged for a forever fine spinner. <laughs> I really did. Really, really truly. And then she started spinning from we made a bat for her out mm -hmm. of all of her fibers because she was given a fiber given a fiber from somebody that it's very much feels like Romney. Okay. It's a little rougher, has too much texture for her to be able to spin completely. I was like, oh, well, we just need to get, you need to get a braid and we'll mix it and we'll use some of the mix-ins and we'll make you a bat. She goes, I, I, okay, what, what is that again? So I told her the bats and we, I was telling her how to use them. We went, we made a bat, we came back over. I was spinning, she was in her little area and she started spinning. She's really quiet and like 10 minutes she goes, Chris? You may have accidentally made me an art yarn spinner. And I'm like, what? She goes, this sparkle. <laughs> this sparkle. I was like, oh my God, you're hilarious. I missed the conversation. So, yeah. That's funny. So she, 
who knows? She may end up in some of my art yarn classes that I didn't expect. I know. You know? But it, it's... I think Justine knows. Justine is going to mostly always be... A thin spinner. A thin spinner. Her comment... And she was cracking me up because everybody knows, like, I'm art yarn. And I'm chunky. And I'm funky. And I can spin thin. I just mostly choose not to unless I have to. Justine's spinning. And mind you, two weeks... This woman's been spinning. Not like years, two weeks. And she's spinning, I would say, a sport to a sock weight yarn mm -hmm. for the most part. The parts that weren't sock weight, that puff just a little bit, that might have looked like a sport weight, I was like, oh my God, that's so consistent. That's so beautiful. You should be so proud of you. And she goes, this is art yarn. I go, what? She goes, if it's not perfect, it's art yarn. I went. <laughs> She'll make it into a glove or a hat. Right. She was cracking me up. I was like, I, I never looked at it that way, but she does okay. A, she Apparently does a lot anything, of, not, yeah. a, not the exact same diameter all the way across. <laughs> is art yarn. Is art yarn. Which you did. I, I heard you tell them that, <laughs> you know, if you want perfectly even yarn, go buy it. It's right. commercially made because hand spun yeah. not supposed to be perfect. Right. That's the love and art yeah. of, of hand spun. And other people will, I know that there are spinners that will disagree with they me. They will. You know, the lady that spun flax at Great mm -hmm. Lakes, Nora, who can spin anything perfectly fine and thin and dramatic and beautiful, but it does look commercially done. And kudos to you for those that can do it and love that. I, I like the character that you create when yeah. you hand spin. But please come join us because the other part of the beginning, beginning spin, we're not going to leave you on your journey. Like, oh, absolutely not. That, that's not who we are. We want to see you succeed. So we have put things in place after you've taken your, your two session, your two three-hour workshops. Um, we have three different sessions of open spin groups. Yep. It's the second and fourth Mondays of every month from 5 to 8. And then the first Saturday of the month from 10 to 1. Yes. And those are where spinners gather. We all spin together. We chat. And we're here. We can help you. We also have a new workshop that we put in place this year. That's a skill builders workshop. Yep. Where if you're struggling, man, come take the workshop. I'm yours for four hours. Whatever you need. If it's drafting, and I've taught you drafting, well, hey, we're going to work more on it. Yeah, it's, it's, <clears throat> that one specifically is, you've taken classes here, and you're struggling with a specific technique. Or you just want to know, okay, so... I can't do it this way. Can you show me what you do? Can you? Is there a better way for me to hold yeah. my hands? Is there? And we work together and we get you over the hurdles to help mm -hmm. you be a more successful spinner to have more confidence in what you're doing. It was like Saturday. I'm sitting there. And the only thing I was doing was I was carting a bunch of fiber that I had because I only do this twice a year. <laughs> and I'm almost done with this bag of fiber, but I'm sitting there and I'm course the five -year spinning project. at it. No, it's two. I'm and I've been, I, so I, I went over and I, did my bad. I did a couple of them. And I came back and I'm sitting there and I'm core spinning. I core spin my way, not her way. I core spin my way. And so someone was standing there watching and I heard Chris go, what are you doing? She goes, I'm just watching her. I'll go, you're watching me core spin my way. She goes, yeah, because it's totally different, but it's what's comfortable for me. Mm -hmm. I don't care what it looks like. I'm going to care what it looks like after she helps me ply it. Then I'm going to care what yes. it looks like. But we have right to have a private now, lesson. yeah, right now I have a big bobbin full of. It's beautiful though. Of course, but now. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. Yep. And, and I, when you I see that a little bit pop, left. you're going to be like so excited. Yeah. Yeah. You spiral ply that. You, oh. And the thing is, you I could have spiral to, or coil it, and it would be gorgeous. And I have to ply it on the country spinner oh. because I use the super flyer bobbin. And in order to get it to be a continuous piece that I can use, I have to do it on that one. <sighs> yeah. Which is all right. That's I fine. don't mind using that one for flying. I no. just can't spin on it. And I understand that not many people <laughs> can. I've just now gotten to the point where I can spin on it over the last six months. Mm. Prior to that, it was like, ah, it takes it right out of my hands. Yeah. So what's next after beginner spin? Beginner's tapestry. Ah! On... The 18th, which I believe is that Saturday from 11 to I 2. I picked up the wrong thing. 
we're going to make a piece very similar. I'm not going to say exact because who knows what colors we're going to use in the class or where you're going to put the stuff or where we're going to put the stuff. Um, but these are all of the basic stitches that you use in be in beginner's tapestry and tapestry in general. Um, and you can bring any of your yarns from home. I'm going to highly suggest that all wits, yeah. sock, sport, worsted, wits, chunky, yeah. bulky, really bulky. Um, the roving that's in here, I'll provide for you. Yep. Okay. I bring that. I make sure you have that to, to yeah. play with. If you're a spinner, bring some hand spun. Bring I think hand there's spun. some hand spun yeah, in here there's too. some hand spun in here. Um, it's a lot of fun. We I had a lot of fun teaching yep. that class. So we have changed the format on this class from what we were doing before. Chris has the frames. So again, you don't have to pay, you don't have to buy you don't need the a equipment if you don't like it. All right. Um, you buy a ball of the warp thread. And there's two pay, different kinds. Yep. So pay for the workshop and bring your yarns. And if you don't have yarns or look on the charity rack, there might be something over there that piques your interest for the class. Buy yep. it. It gives you that something extra. Yep. And I have so. a little bin <clears throat> that has some of my hand spuns that I haven't done anything with. Mm -hmm. And some of my chunkier yarns that um, they were here for another class we did a long time ago. But I keep them here. And I brought them up and I let them pick like something that maybe color coordinated yeah. with what they brought. So, uh, listen, I have seven bins of commercial <laughs> yarn that I will never use again because now I dye my own. Yep. May as well use it for tapestry, folks. Yep. Um, so, very happy to share. Very fun class. Yes. So, and, and there's... Um, couple of techniques that we do that maybe other tapestry people who have taken in the past that you haven't learned because I teach differently than other people. Yep. So even if you've taken the class <clears throat> in the past, maybe you want to take it a second time, learn a couple of those techniques that I'm doing that other people do not. Some of it's finishing techniques and some of it are techniques that are actually in the piece. Mm -hmm. um, it would help you because if you want to do any of our advanced at least you won't be lost or we won't have to take the extra time right. to explain it. And that time should be 11 to 3. We discovered we need the extra hour. Yeah, we, so. we're about 30 to 45 minutes over a three-hour class. Mm -hmm. So just so you know. Sorry. The next one is Basic Knots for Macrame on February 23rd from 11 to 1. We are not making this project. No. However, all of the knots that are in this project, <clears> I teach <throat> you. This has every single basic knot you learn in macrame. Um, some people just don't want to actually make a wall hanging. They just Correct. want to learn the knots so that you can take some of my advanced classes that only, like I, we have the project bowl that only, it's one knot through the whole thing. And if you took basic knots, you, got the you knot. just do the bowl. Or some people take it as a beginner step to being able to take my macro weaving classes. Mm -hmm. So, because you need to know basic knots to be able to do the framework for macro weaving. Yep. Yep. There's that. The last one for the month is on February 25th. It has to be a Saturday because it's rigid heddle, oh. basic weaving from 10 to 3. That's me. I was like, what, did, what sample <laughs> did I forget to bring? You did not. I just didn't <laughs> grab a loom. Good. So, it's the basic rigid heddle weaving. Okay. Um, Again, use my loom, mm -hmm. buy two skeins of yarn, and you'll have a finished scarf at the end. And if you don't finish it, nah. chances are you can come back <laughs> another day and finish it because you're like, yeah. this close to being done. Absolutely. So, yeah, so that's on a Saturday. Now, I will tell you, we are also, um, if times don't work for you, if the dates don't work, there's a conflict of interest. First of all, ask me, do you have that same thing in March? And if not, I'll take your name and number, and we'll get back to you um, to see what's a good date to fit it in. So we're not going to leave you high and dry. We're not no. going to go, you know what, we're not going to do this for three. No. We recreate classes all the time. Yes. And it's great because then someone else may not speak up saying that that date doesn't work. And when you say, hey, I can... This day and time works for me. And we got, okay, we're going to put it on the books. We put it out there for everybody. Yeah. And then that person will come back and go, oh, you added a class. Yep. I can sure do did. that one. 
Sure did. So yeah, so don't whatever it takes. Yeah, don't hesitate to no. to let us know that you have more a than conflict. happy to figure out how to make it work. Yeah, we know Saturdays or you know you got things to do with your family. It's basketball season. It's wrestling season. It's you know, there's all kinds of stuff that you're doing with it's your family or whatever. Anymore. You know, so if it doesn't work for you, mm -hmm. if the daytime hours don't work and you need an evening, just say something. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we will figure it yeah. out. So that's the calendar. And yes, we were a little winded today with the calendar, but that's okay. I'd rather... We need to let you know. Listen, I have energy. I need to be able to share that energy, especially with spinning. Yep. It's a passion. Um, so we have been through some how-to videos. Yes. And you've done some rigid heddle. Mm -hmm. Um, I did a blending board. You did some more rigid heddle. Yes. To fi for finishing to techniques. To finishing it up. Um, next week. Next week. In two weeks. Two weeks. We are going to do a how-to on this lovely drum carter. Yes. Don't worry. You're not going to have to watch a 48-minute video. I have shortcuts. Because, <laughs> ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Yes. You'll ditch us real fast. Um, but you need to see the difference between like what you produce with that blending board versus what you produce on a drum carter. On a drum carter. This is a regular four ounce bat. This, I think is, yeah, this is a five and a half ounce bat. Um, however, different fibers, really, really light and airy. Um, I, I really want to steal this from myself. I love this bat. A couple people had their eye on it the other day. I know, and I kept going, <laughs> don't touch that. What are you doing? I got to learn to let it go after I make it, right? You can always make it again. I can't. That was the end of that fiber. Mm. That's why I'm stressing. I'm like, why didn't I keep that? Because I totally envision this perfect art yarn. It would look like clouds. Mm -hmm. Like I can see it. I don't know. I may have to steal it. But um, today, more than anything, we're just going to go over kind of pieces and parts of our little drum carter we get them from ashford yes how many different sizes do they have three or four um so the one that i have is eight inches wide and i believe this one is 12. yeah that um works. they also have one that is four inches wide it really it's for not... what purpose exactly so it's really not worth it um, basically, Unless the bats are really easy to get off of it, and well, then they no, just do quicker, just faster sm bats. It's a smaller bat. Yeah, no. just make smaller. Bats. I'm good. It's easier to tote around if you're going to be, you know, doing some stuff. Um, <sighs> these do get kind of heavy. <laughs> um, but yeah. these are nice, nice, and they have two different cloth. These are the cloth, and it's it's uh, points per inch. I'm going to tilt PPI. this up real quick. So this one is seventy two. And I believe they have one that's 120. It's your finer. This here is mid, middle of the road. This is the one we're going to use. Mine is actually a 36. I think I probably got the last one that they is it had. wider? There's less teeth per less inch. Teeth. Oh. So it's great for fleece as opposed oh, to that's something smart. that's already processed. Well, then I'm glad we have both of them here yeah. on like our spinning weekends mm -hmm. because yeah. that's, that's good to see the difference in the two. Right. So, and mine's at eight inches, like I said, hers is 12, and those are the types. Now, they have come out with an electric one. Haven't really dove into that yet because mm -hmm. they were over a year when they first announced they were going to do it to the point where they actually had it in production. I'm a little iffy on an, an electric. Yeah, it has a lot of guards. You can't do the top. If you want to load on the top of your You have to load drum, from the front. You always have to load from the front. Forget it. I'll never have one. So I don't get control. It's safety. It's electric. I, listen, I get it. I know. This here's a hand crank. I have cuts. Oh. Little tiny cuts all across my knuckles. I had to put a Band-Aid on yesterday. I stabbed from myself. From doing so. this with the brush at the top mm -hmm. while I was going around. Yep. I actually went, and I went, really? And it wouldn't yeah. stop. So, yeah. Band-Aid. This here is the liquor in. This is where it goes in. This um, spins slower revolutions per 
turn than the actual drum. Um, so you put it in here, it grabs it, it pulls it in, mm -hmm. and it adds it here. You're going to see us 90% of the time just loading everything up on the top. These are your ratios. You have different ratios for speed. Didn't what know the that. snap? Obviously, she didn't read her instruction book. No, why would I? It's a drum carter. I know how to use a drum carter. But there are several different... What do I need ratios for on a drum carter? I get it on a spinning wheel. There's all these different wheels here, and you can move the drive band to different ratio points. Well, why would I? For speed, turning, oh. whatever. I don't know. You'd have to read. Yeah, I'm not going to read. I'm going to keep it so like it is. In the Ashford carding, wow. in the Ashford carding book... It actually has all that breakdown. In two weeks, maybe we'll open up that part and we'll explain that ratio mm -hmm. thing. Because I didn't know that. So, hey, I love learning mm -hmm. something new. Please don't think I'm ignorant of you things. Get but two clamps. Did you find your second one yesterday? Nope. It's still okay. in my A. It's, in, it's around here somewhere. I have enough clamps from everything else I own from Ashford. I'm sure I can <laughs> pull one out somewhere. This is the all to remove your bat when you're done there is a metal strip on both of these Ooh. that will actually this there's a groove and you slide this down and it removes and she'll show you that when we do the demonstration in two weeks sure will and this is your brush it's a packing brush it mm -hmm. actually packs the fiber on the wheel you hold it you spin it and it actually push down into the teeth because these teeth are probably a good quarter between a quarter and half an inch deep and oh, you can pack an you can pack a lot of fiber on that wheel this brush also helps compact it does when nancy made her first one she no did. no you saw her the second time so the first time not only did she not have this down she also didn't use the brush she was just putting the fiber on there and she kept going around, kept going around. And when we, she was watching me and she goes, I don't know why, but mine is just not like, and she was explaining what it would, and I go, did you use the brush? And she's looking at me and she goes, oh, am I supposed to? And I went, Nancy, <laughs> I said last year at the spinning weekend, you and I made a bat together or two years ago, we made a bat together. At the front table up there, mm -hmm. I said, and I'm like, this has to be down and use this brush. And she goes, no, we didn't. I go, mm -hmm. girl, we were there for like an hour. Yeah. Yeah, we did. She goes, oh, well, I forgot that. And then Chris, I'll do it now. Chris is using this wheel and I walk up there and Nancy's <laughs> using the other one. And I go, Nancy, your, you, your is thing down. is way up in the, I go, it needs to be down. She goes, what? And Chris turns around. She goes, that boy is down. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and it was so funny because when she was finally done, though, the difference in the bats yeah. from what she had to then what she had at the end, I was like, oh, look how nice and smooth and light and airy that is compared to what she's like. Mm -hmm. Well, the other one was probably just. It was, it was like, the, it wasn't like really. It didn't get blended well. It didn't get blended. Yeah. She did, it was like clumps of fiber. I'm like, okay. It was so funny. But they're, they're really nice. Um, these. Drum carters are really great just for taking your, your raw wools mm -hmm. and smoothing them out if you don't want to card individually over and over. Yeah. Some I, stuff you do have to break down. Like, don't put locks on here. Don't put no. straight locks. I think I used the hand cartridge for like five minutes and my wrist hurt so bad. I'm like, Chris, can I use your blending board? Absolutely. So this is a step up from the blending board. Blending board, board is flat. Yep. You can't get as much on there, but you no. make row logs, which are mini bats. It's fine. If you're the kind of person that is only going to create a unique something to spin once in a while. You don't need a drum carter. Get a blending board. Yeah. Blending boards are 200 and some dollars. This is not. Drum carters are 650 and up when they have them in stock. <laughs> I love this baby. But I have enjoyed spinning from bats since the day I started spinning. Correct. So this was like for somebody that loves art yarn. Oh, you can get some fluffy art yarn when you spin from bats. Yeah. So that's actually one of my oohs and ahs. Yeah, it's the thing that you can create. You know how we say when spinning, you can create your own yarn and dyeing. Mm -hmm. You can create your own colorways. This, you can create your own unique 
fibers, blend them however you want mm -hmm. so you can spin them into that very unique yarn so that you can yeah. make that unique piece where it's knit crochet spin or knit crochet yeah. weave whatever well and for those that are local that do spin there will be a series that we're doing this summer so that we can get ready for fall mm -hmm. we're going to do a bat to spin to hat and we're are gonna, we really we are um because we're going to use your simple hat pattern oh cool but you'll have to adjust it for thicker, funkier yarns. I because, have a chunky hat pattern too already, so that might work. Right, and so, because um, I also, again, we, we have those Spinning with Intention series. Mm -hmm. This is another one of those Spinning with Intention series classes, but we will be creating bats, so we'll have to use the two drum carters that we have. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be creating smaller bats not big six ounce bats so it won't take as long we're going to be creating bats talking about colorways why to use the drum carter in certain ways right to create certain looks with what you're going to spin um we will then learn the techniques well not learn we're going to improve the techniques you've already learned from taking my other classes because we will be spinning specific art yarn for it mm -hmm. and then we will have a class where Janine goes, okay, this is how we make the hat. Right. So, and it'll be so much fun. Um, it just gives yet another way to learn yet another tool, another how to keep our fiber world moving together in one circle. Right. So, so you know, it's not just buy yarn off the wall and make something. It's you can, you can create more. And those of you who are those artistic type people who want to actually create your own stuff. We have the tools for that. We do. And we are very much willing to show you how to do it. And ex hopefully we're expanding not only our learning abilities and techniques to teach you how to do all this stuff, mm -hmm. but offering you more ways in order to actually be more creative. creative. Absolutely. I like, I just, I, lo I, I absolutely love that we can join all of it together because used to be everything was you were a knitter, mm -hmm. you were a crocheter, you were a spinner, or you were a weaver. And I'm like, well, why can't we all just be together? <laughs> we can so, combine all of right. that. So, Janine and I have worked really, really hard, like progressively, not even just like this year, but progressively, gradually moving to this point where we can get everybody loving everything. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of nice. I really love it. But, um, so yeah, so next video... We'll actually talk, we'll do, we'll do the, the calendar, we'll do the calendar, and then we will show you how to, Make on this, bet. we'll give you a little bit of that information on the ratios, we'll get the book and look it mm -hmm. up before we do the video, because we can all learn together, I love knowledge. Yeah. I can't even remember the names of things, I'd have never known that was called an all. <laughs> Whatever that is, wherever it's, it went. It's right here. All. It's an all. A-W-L. Huh. You know what it is? It's the pick thingy. You I'm know, really bad at remembering technical names for this. There were a lot of words going around yesterday or at the spinning day that hey. we had that it wasn't just you. <laughs> it was not just you. Are you talking about people having to pay the pig? No, I'm oh, talking okay. about people not knowing the proper terms for the pieces parts. Yeah. And just yeah. going whatever they wanted to say. Yeah. And yeah. You know what the worst part about that is? I knew what they were talking about. I know. <laughs> the thingamajig next to the other piece. So, I was making that, that bat for my core spinning. Oh. And I had just used this. <laughs> laid it in front of the drum carter. Went to help a customer. Walked away. Came back five, ten minutes later. And the all is gone. I'm like, what? Five minutes looking for that stupid thing. Oh, and I finally five. went, maybe it rolled underneath the front of the drum carter. Mm -hmm. it took me like 20 minutes to find it. <laughs> you ever find your felting tool? Nope. Still okay. looking for it. Somewhere in this building, there's an extra felting tool. Just lay it somewhere because you didn't go sidetracked. I can't find my the cookie cutter heart shape either because if I find one, I'll find the other because... They were Chances together. They're together because that was the last. Probably just set it on top of something and it's blending. 
I took everything off of this table. I don't it mean this been... table. It's out here in the universe no, somewhere. That's where it was. So and I can't says, find it. I went see. through my felting bag four times. You say so, boss. I did. I have to say boss because she did just give me a raise. I did. But you I'll know. find it. So All anyway. Right. Um, I hope that those of you that have never used a drum carter will tune in to yeah. our video in two weeks. Um, should be lots of fun here after I get through wild and woolly I will be going back to some of our other videos which we are through wild and woolly so now she can start going back through yeah, all those videos. I'll go through all those videos and I'm gonna pull the how to's mm -hmm. and also list them separately so it's not in the big coffee and chat with the how to right um, so that you can either watch the full video or you can go to just the how to I think it'll be helpful if we yeah. have those separated as well. Because there's some knitting and crocheting that are back several months that people have been looking for. And with the weaving, and if we're going to start doing this, they need to be able to find it quicker. Yep. So, so that's what we're going to do. I'll be working on fixing that. So bear with me. Yeah. So anything else for today? No. no. I think we're good. Um, yeah. I think we're good. And we will see you in two weeks. After the for Eagles the next, win the Super Bowl. For the next video, <laughs> which is February 24th. Yes. Like, subscribe, share on your Facebook page. It's not the 24th. Is it the 24th? What? Today's, yeah. Today's the 12th. Yeah. No, 12 no. plus 14 is 26. She can't math. Well, I'm like, it can't be the 24th because that would put that on a Monday, and I don't do that on Mondays. Hard eye roll. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like, subscribe, subscribe, I can't talk, tell your Share. friends to subscribe to our channel. Mm -hmm. Um, we are growing. We're about 250 people now. Like it, it's like the first part, first hundred kind of happened so slow. But now it's just people And now we're just like a little and, bit. Yeah. Look at these little baby steps every Which other cool. day. Which and I cool. love it. And we appreciate it. Please comment. Um, if you have a question about something you saw in today's video, question so that the next time we yeah. can answer it maybe for you. Yep. And we'll at least answer it. We try very, very hard to answer every single question that pops up yep. under the videos. Either Janine or I catch them pretty quickly. It's so funny because she'll probably see them before me and then she goes, um, you have to answer this one. It's about knitting. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know the answer. <laughs> Like, I could look it up, but it might be wrong, so you answer I gotcha. that. Yeah. And yeah. some of the things I can answer, and we'll do our best to get back to you. And if we don't know the answers, maybe we can direct you to how to find them. Right. So there's going to be links below the video that you can find our our individual websites, Facebook pages, and the Instagram account that gets used a little bit. So there you go. A little bit, because it's so hard to manage all that social media. And I'm I, not hiring somebody to do I, it. No, I think we... We do pretty good. I do. I, the the, the is, Instagram is gets a little left behind, and I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to get better about it because there are a couple of people that have been in the store, and they're like, oh, I'm not on Facebook, but I'm on Instagram, so anything you put there, I see. I'm like, oh, okay, you get one video a month. You get one post a month. Sorry, bro. Which makes me feel bad. So I'm going to try. This past couple of weeks, I've been trying to get better from when I do one thing here, I go, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate <laughs> across the row. So, getting Videos better. Videos are just a little harder on Instagram, yeah. that's all. So, everybody take care. Um, enjoy Valentine's Day. Or don't, if you don't like celebrating Valentine's Day. I have people that I know that are like, Ugh. I have an open group from 5 to 8 that evening if you want to come and just, you know, hang out here. I'll be here. <gasps> yeah. I'll be doing hair. So, yeah, that's Tuesday. my Valentine's Day. It's Tuesday. Absolutely. Um, enjoy the rest of your 90,000 years of winter because stupid Phil decided we were getting six extra weeks of winter. I know. We got four more to go, according to him. He better be right because I need warmer weather, man. It's six weeks, whether it's mild or harsh, no matter what. It's How spring. about just mild? It's mild. Not, it's Northeast Ohio. My bones can't take it anymore. All right, you know what? We're going to go. You guys have a great one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>